Number 25. If a sound intensity level of 0 decibels at 1000 Hz corresponds to a maximum gauge pressure, sound amplitude of 10 to the minus 9 atm, what is the maximum gauge pressure in a 60 decibel sound? All right. So on this particular question, I'm going to use the formula um, that I developed in the prior problem, number 24. So please, if you want to find, figure out or I, you know, uh, know where this formula comes from, please check out number 24. All right. Especially at the beginning of it, I kind of outline 24 is a challenging problem. You should definitely check it out. Um, and I kind of outline, you know, my thought process at the beginning of such a challenging problem, which you might find um, uh, may find helpful. Okay. So this is simply P2 uh, relative to P1 will be equal to the uh, square root of uh, 10 raised to beta, the sound intensity level of 2 minus the sound intensity level of 1, all divided then by 10. All right, so they're telling us that a sound intensity level of 0 decibels, so they're giving me, a, you know, we can call it a beta 1 value, it doesn't matter. Let's call beta 1 is equal to 0 uh, decibels, okay? And then they're saying that that corresponds with a pressure of 10 to the minus 9. So this is simply going to be 10 to the minus 9. Uh, and, oh, I should have put this as this would be then P2, okay? Uh, what am I talking about? P1. What am I talking about? P1. This would be 10 to the minus 9 atm. Now, you know, we don't like atmospheres. We can plug this in uh, for, um, you know, uh, Pascals. However, you know, this is just simply a ratio. So uh, there is no problem plugging in atmospheres there. Your answer will get spit out in atmospheres. Um, you know, but that, if you need to do the conversion, that shouldn't be a problem. So now what I realize, we have to find the gauge pressure, meaning P2, when the sound level has changed. So beta 2 now is going to be 60 decibels. So literally, all we got to do is solve for P2 here. So we plug in everything that we know. So P2 all over P1, which is 10 to the minus 9, equals then the square root of 10 raised to the beta 2, which is 60, minus beta 1, which is going to be 0 all over 10. So this is basically 10 raised to the 6, right? So this works out to P2 all over 10 to the minus 9 is going to be equal to the square root of then, whoops, Square root, let me make that a little neater. Square root of 10 to the uh, sixth. You can take now the square root of that. You would realize that it would come out to be 3. Right? 10 raised to the, I, ten, not, not 10 raised to the third. That's what I meant. So this is then P2 all over 10 to the minus 9 is equal to 10 to the uh, third. And then we can simply now do a cross multiplication. So P2 here will be equal to now uh, 10. You have like bases, so you can add those exponents. So this would be 10 uh, to the minus uh, 6, okay? And if you needed to, you know, find a decimal value, you could. But this would be the value, and this is it in atmospheres, all right? So that's atmospheres. And if you need, again, to convert that into Pascal, it's 1.01 times 10 to the uh, uh, fifth, right? Pascal is equivalent to 1 atmospheres. You can go, go ahead and do that. And now what's the maximum gauge pressure uh, in a 120 decibel sound? So we're just going to do this one quick because it's the same thing. So it's P2 all over the P1, which was 10 to the minus 9, equals then the square root of 10 to now the 120 minus 0 all over 10. And again, we're going to get P2 all over 10, 10 to the minus 10 to the minus 9th. That's this is going to be square root of then 10 to the uh, 12th, right? So that's really going to be 10 to the 6th. All right, after you take the square root, 10 to the 6th, when you add those exponents together, you know, when you do your cross multiplication, so P2 will then be equal to uh, 10 to the uh, minus 3. And voila, that's in atmospheres. Okay, and that's it, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hope this video helped. Remember to check out number 24, and we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.